Today, big businesses changing policy on gun sales. The latest, Walmart. They will no longer sell firearms or ammunition to anyone younger than 21 years old. They will also remove items from their website that resemble assault-style rifles like airsoft guns and even toys. Dick Sporting Goods also raising the age to buy guns and ammo to 21. KPI X5's Len Ramirez spoke to customers who have mixed feelings about the move. My receipt says $196.65. Tony Hatch drove far out of his way to spend almost $200 on golf shirts and sweatpants at the Dick's Sporting Goods store on Blossom Hill Road. Money he says he was prompted to spend because the company took a stand to curb its own gun sales. So you're making a statement with your dollars? Exactly. And what is that statement? That statement is uh, good for you for uh, taking the initiative to do your own gun control. Um, if uh, our politicians aren't going to act and you do, then I reward that. Citing the Florida school shooting, the company announced it will stop selling assault rifles and high capacity magazines at all Dick's and Field and Stream stores. It will also stop selling firearms to anyone under the age of 21. We actually sold the shooter a shotgun in, uh, in November of last year. And we looked at that and found out that we did this. We had a pit in our stomach and said, we need to not, we don't want to be a part of this story. Dix will continue to sell handguns and other kinds of rifles, but the company is also paying a price for its stance. I haven't really shopped there before. There's no reason to start now. Customers like Brian, who owns several guns and shoots recreationally, says he's now boycotting Dix. I like to support organizations that support the, the things that I like, whether it's you know, weapons or if it's cars. I mean, if they're law abiding citizens, they should be able to get whatever they want. But one gun owner, a former Marine and police officer, agrees with Dix that there should be more limits. Very responsible thing to do. Going to bring a lot of flack down on them, the NRA and other organizations. But I really admire the fact that they're doing it. Dix actually stopped selling the AR 15 and other assault rifles after Sandy Hook in 2012, but it continued to sell them under its Field and Stream brand, which is a smaller subsidiary. It is not expected to have a huge impact on the company's bottom line. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.